guys and welcome back. So welcome to part two of my British haul, shall we call it. So this is going to be kind of some fashion stuff, some random stuff. Um, and I think, I think it's really cool. <laughs> That's why I wanted to show you guys. That's what a haul is, right? Um, so I'm going to start, I think, with the fashion-y items. I didn't get too much. I was actually hoping to get more, but hey ho. So the first one, now this is really out of my comfort zone. I got a jumpsuit. I got it from Primark. It was on sale for five pounds. I know, right? So it's this beautiful print. It's black with these kind of yellow and white flowers. And yeah, it's a jumpsuit. I mean, what more is there I can say? Really hard to show you this on camera. It actually fits me really nicely. I got it in a couple of sizes bigger than I normally would wear. So I got it in a size 10 and I'm normally a six to eight. It does cinch in in the waist here. You probably won't be able to see it on camera. And it has pockets, which I mean, is just amazing. It's really, really out of my comfort zone. Um, I was with my mum and my twin sister and I tried it on. I put it on and I went, this looks ridiculous because it was my like immediate reaction. And then I looked at it more and I was like, actually it looks really cool and obviously my mum and my sister liked it as well so I ended up actually wearing that for my dad's birthday party I took an outfit already but that was so nice that I just had to wear it next up I went to New Look um they have sales everywhere back home right now I'm just tying up the bow on these so they look nice but I got a pair of shorts again out of my comfort zone I don't wear shorts as you know I don't wear skirts I have an issue with my legs but I couldn't resist these were five pounds. They're looking nice and wrinkled right now. But I mean, I thought with these, you could dress them up, you could dress, dress them down. So you could wear them with like a really nice pair of like black or nude heels. I think I'd go for black with like quite a loose fitting top. And I think that would look really kind of smart and dressy and nice for like a nice dinner or a night out. But you could also dress it down and pair it with some cool flip flops and wear it in the daytime as well. So. I actually really like them. I'm hoping I'm going to get some use out of them. Um, next up, also from New Look. Now, this is the only item I didn't get in the sale. Um, but it was only £13. Let me check. Yeah, £13. So it's just a top. And it's kind of a, um, a knitted, like, woolen top. It's little spaghetti straps here. And then it comes off the shoulder. So you have that bare shoulder. There's a name for that. What's the name? If you know, leave it in the comments, let me know. But it has these little sleeves, has the exposed shoulders, has a really nice kind of low scoop at the front and a very slight V at the back. But it hangs quite low, kind of halfway down your bum. But it has a really nice um, hem to it at the bottom. The shape of it is actually really, really flattering. So I was really happy with that. Just two more clothing items that I got from the sales in H&M. Five pounds, just an average kind of throw on everyday jumper. Stripes, horizontal stripes, black and white. The back of it is slightly longer than the front. Not much to say really. I like the neckline, I like the round neckline but it's not like choking you. But again, yeah, just for an everyday throw on with a pair of jeans. You can whack a nice necklace on there and you're good to go. Now, this last one, I don't know why I was drawn to it. It's not normally something that I would go for. Um, my sister hated it. But I'm gonna show you anyway. It was a fiver. And it looks like this. Now, uh, you know, I'm looking at this on camera and I'm going, why do I like this? I'm not even sure, but I really do. I love that it has a hood. Um, you can layer it over like a vest top. It is cropped, but it looks kind of cool layered. Um, but it also has this drawstring at the bottom, so you can really kind of crop it even shorter. I have a way I'm going to style this in my head. I think with some like really cool black, kind of smart joggers, if you want to call them that. And then a pair of shoes that I'm going to show you next. With this, just for a kind of casual, sporty daytime look. I think it's going to look really cool. If you want to see an outfit of the day when I put it together, just give the video a thumbs up so I know, or even let me know in the comments, and I will do that for you. Next up are the shoes I was just telling you about. Sorry for all the rustling of the bags. 
These were also £5. There's definitely a theme going on here. These were from Primark. Now, you're going to love or hate these, and that's the kind of shoes I normally gravitate towards. No one in my family likes these. Um, my mum did, I think, maybe, but maybe she was just trying to appease me. But they are these. What do you guys think? I absolutely love them. Um, they're kind of like a chunky Converse style thing. Again, they were £5. And I think I could wear them actually in multiple ways. When I first picked them up, I was like, shall I get them, shall I not? Do I have things I can wear them with? But the more I think about it, there are more ways that I want to style these. And yeah, I really like them. Again, let me know what you guys think. Am I nuts? Are you watching this video like, oh my god, Terry, what did you buy? Let me know. I love to hear from you guys. I love chatting with you guys. So that was the kind of fashiony stuff. Next up are the random things. I am covered in all sorts over here. So I'm going to show you some food items, I guess, first. These are a bit squished now, but these are some crisps. They are knickknacks. I did have more, but I've ate the rest. These are nice and spicy and scampy and lemon, and they also have ribbon saucy. I had two left. I was not going to leave them in England, so I'll wrap them in my suitcase. I actually ate one on the plane on the way over here. Chocolate. Now, you guys know what I'm like about chocolate, and I always talk about how much I miss Cadbury's chocolate. Um, so my dad was going to the supermarket, and I was like, get me some chocolate, get me some chocolate. He got me more teasers, which... You know, all well and good by me. I can get them here so they're not super special. But he got me my favourite. Now, again, they're all a bit squished from the thing jammed into my suitcase. Giant Cadbury's buttons. You put these things in the freezer. And they are just, oh, they're incredible. If you can get Cadbury's, get it. They are the best thing ever. And then he also got me just a bar of dairy milk. So these are going to last me a while because I'm cutting back on the amount of chocolate I eat. But I am super happy to have those. Once again, my feet are falling asleep. I need to learn to sit on a cushion or something when I'm doing this. So, next up, just a few more bits. I went to a shop called This Works, I think it's called, which sells, like, books and notebooks and, like, some kids' games and things like that. Super, super cheap. And you guys know how much I love my stationery. So, I got a notebook. Haha, <laughs> yes, I know, I've got plenty of notebooks. But look... Do I need to say any more words? Plus, it was two pounds. Two pounds? Come on. It's a line notebook, no margin, which we all know how much that annoys me, but it's covered in donuts. So expect to see this in like backgrounds of like Instagram pictures or something because I think it's adorable. Then I got this. Oh, this, I absolutely love this. It's like been missing from my life and I didn't even know about it. They call it a sticky notes folder. It was three pounds. And what it is, ta-da! So you have a notepad, then you have all sorts of kind of post-its. These ones say things to do. This one says notes, memos even, I can't read. And then just a small little ones. It also comes with a pen, which I thought was pretty cool. Three pounds, three pounds. I mean, it's just incredible. And I mean, the pattern is absolutely gorgeous. And I love that it's like, um, like a hardback. So you're not, you don't have to worry, especially me, because I don't like getting things all creased up. You don't have to worry about it like falling apart because it is a hardback. So loved that. Next up I got these, and these are note cards and envelopes. This is the one I was first drawn to. These were £3 each. So they come with these um, note cards. They're just plain cards, so you can use them for anything. They're great for like thank yous or just sending a nice little letter. I think they have two designs in here. Let me just check. Didn't have much time to look. Yeah, and this is the other design. Let me get them out next to each other so you guys can see. How cute are they? Come on. So they are 12 of those ones and they come obviously with the envelopes which are just white envelopes I can see from here. And then this one, again, three pounds each. Bargain if you ask me. Oh, there's a couple of different ones. Oh. I have to have a look at the owl one again. So we've got this one. These are all kind of like vintagey floral patterns they remind me of. So I just think, again, so, so cute. But I can see, I think, there's a different style in here. Oh, this one might be my favourite. Check that out. I don't know how well, obviously, the colours are going to pick up 
on camera but they are so cute and then that is the other style let's have a look at the owls again quickly just to see if there's any more in there that even i didn't realize and i can show you guys if i can get it out dropping things all over the place over here oh oh this is so cute look at that look at that i'm sure you guys sat there laughing about how excited i get over cards and then one with just a plain purple owl they are just so cute i have only two more things to show you which is probably for the best because i'm about to lose all feeling in my foot i got two books so i picked up this one um in sainsbury's it's by john green and i read as did everyone i think the fault in our stars and i couldn't put it down and i've heard about this I haven't really heard anything about it, but I've heard the name. It's Paper Towns. It cost £3.99, so I thought, why not see what it's like? I mean, he was he's an incredible author. The way that he wrote The Fault in Our Stars was amazing. The back looked really interesting. I can read it to you quickly if you like. It says, Quentin Jacobson has always loved Margot from afar, so when she climbs through his window to summon him on an all-night road trip of revenge... He cannot, he cannot help but follow. But the next morning, Q turns up at school and Margot doesn't. She's left clues to her disappearance like a trail of breadcrumbs for Q to follow. And everything leads to one avoidable, unavoidable question. Who is the real Margot? Sounds pretty interesting to me, so I'm excited to give it a read. And the last purchase, I think, excuse my phone, I think possibly maybe my favourite purchase. Now, I've been wanting this for a while. If you watched my last haul, the beauty haul, you heard me talk about how important it is, I think, to support fellow YouTubers. I've been watching this for such a long time, and this is The Glam Guide by Fleur de Force. I picked this up at WH Smith. I love her videos. I've been watching her for absolutely ages. I love the fact that she wrote this book purely by herself she had she didn't have a ghostwriter or anything she obviously went through publishers and whatnot but all the words are her own all the writing is her own i haven't read any of it yet but i've had like a flick through the illustrations and the pictures in this book are absolutely incredible i trust her advice anyway when i watch her videos and i'm just really happy i have this so i can't wait to delve into this and start reading again i can let you know what i think of it if you like just let me know in the comments and i'll be happy to do so but i'm pretty sure it's going to be great so that is everything i got the last part of my haul from england i am back now i have a couple of days off and then i'm going back to work if you have any video requests requests please let me know please subscribe if you are not already subscribed subscribed subscribe for the fact that i can't talk today why not? Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Just click on the video on the screen if you want to go and take a look at my British beauty haul. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.